And I believe we're live. Does my daughter want to be on the show? She runs away. <laughs> Pause the audio because that always sounds weird when I try to talk. Hey, I hope everyone's doing well. Happy lunchtime here on the East Coast. It's like almost 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. This is 5 a.m. Master Scrum. How often does the business crash or sprint? And I'm going to talk about today. I was listening to Alex Ramosi the other day. I was talking management time versus maker time. And I got an idea. Why not make your requirements refinement sessions on the same day you either do your, your uh, review, your sprint review, or your sprint um, planning session? And I want to talk about that today. Try to save some more time. And by the way, we're almost to our fifth year anniversary of the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I think we have five more days left to go. I got Bubbles over here. She's been doing this for five years. She's tuckered out. She's sleeping there. She's cute. She's got little paws on my, my leg. She's doing good, though. But I want to talk about that today. Try to save more time for the makers of your team so they have more time to build the products which we sell, right? That's what we want. So it's 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Master, Scrum Master, and Agile Coach. And here we talk about Scrum and Agile, right, Bubbles? And they're very practical, tactical way to bring more value to your customer, not spend so much effort to get that value and have a little fun along the way. And again, thanks. Hey, we're almost at a five-year mark. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm debating where I'm going to bake a cake for the show when we hit our fifth year mark, which is in five days. So I want to thank everyone for the compliments on LinkedIn for saying congrats on the five-year anniversary. To be honest with you, I did not realize it's been five years. Uh, I guess it's been five years, been, you know, doing that. And it, it kind of goes to the cadence thing, just doing it every day. And when you look at the stats for YouTube, I think we've done like 2,000 videos or something like that, according to what YouTube has. And some of it may be a, a cross between shows and podcasts now, because now YouTube does all the Google podcasts. So there may be a mix of that in there too. But anyway, I thought it was interesting. I, I was not expecting the five years. So um, just, Thank you all. Thanks for listening and watching and sharing and growing the channel and what we do. And it's all about sharing. And today, talk about doing stuff for the team for other people. So how do you get more time for makers? And I was listening to an Alex Hermosi podcast. He was talking about um, maker time versus management time. It's a really good article um, time. And you might see a couple more clips in some of the shows related to what he has to say. I got one for the team, which I was going to do yesterday, but things got out of control and this things just came through and I never did a show yesterday. Still got tonight. I'm going to work on doing an interview tonight. We'll see how that goes. You'll see more information as I progress on editing that. Um, I did have to buy a new computer because my old computer and Zoom did not like each other. So I'm hoping the new computer will, will, will fix that problem with the, the amount of resources. Anyway, let's talk about The business crash in your sprint, like, and then what the maker time is. And he was talking about having maker time, time for the developers and testers, people make stuff, make requirements, whatever, time to do what they got to do, not get interrupted with a bunch of things. And my thought as a scrum master or an agile coach, thinking about the scrum cadence and calendar. And I always, this is one of the things I preach to all my teams about getting the same cadence on the same days. So when I would do my sprint calendar for the week or the sprint, I always tried to have the refinement sessions on the same day as the sprint planning or the review sessions. The reason being, I want to make it as simple as possible for everyone, especially business. I want it naturally. I want it, I want it to be second nature habit that says, hey, Wednesday, like let's say, let's say your sprint review or your sprint planning is on a Wednesday and you want to have your stakeholders both at, you can pick whatever's more important, the review or the planning session you choose, or you let them know, Hey, this is sprint planning day. I think it's a little more relevant for sprint planning and refinement requirements, refinement to be on the same day. And the reason being, if the customer needs to get something in the sprint before you finish your sprint refine your sprint planning session. They want to know what day that is. Like, oh yeah, if I got something, I got to get it in. 
I got to make sure they know it's always on a Wednesday. And the other thing, if you always do it always on a Wednesday and you're going to do a uh, uh, requirements refinement session, they always know Wednesday is a day they can get their requirements in for the team to look at to, to size or get prepared for the next sprint. So it's kind of like how I do it. It's It keeps that mentality there. So they're not crashing into your sprint, your people in your sprint saying, hey, I got a new requirement. Hey, I got this. Hey, I got this. Can you look at this? If they all know what day of the week to make that request, it's going to make your lives a lot easier. You're going to save more time for the makers to build product. right? And that's what we want to do. We want to protect the team. And there's ways you design your cadence, your scrum, your interactions to protect the team. It's not just saying, no, you can't talk to them. Set up a cadence so it makes it easy for the business to know when to come in and say, hey, I got a new requirement. Hey, I want to look at your requirement. So what I'm suggesting here and what I try to do. So if, and, and, and I know refinement session is not an event in scrum. Gotcha. You got it, right? But there are times when you do want to do refinement. I'm not a big proponent of refining any time. I like to give makers, the developers, testers, business analysts, product owners, as much time in their schedule, in their calendar every day to do the work they need to do because it's complex work. It ain't easy. If anybody says it's easy, I'm like, yeah, right? No, it's not. It's very complicated. That's why they all have degrees <laughs> and they learn all this stuff. So by doing it, let's say Wednesday, I'm going to just pick Wednesday. Sometimes it's a Friday, sometimes it's a Tuesday, sometimes it's a Thursday, but you want to pick something. So I'll pick Wednesday. This way, the business in their mind knows, hey, the team is either refining stories on Wednesday or the team is planning what they want to do in the next sprint. They know that they need Wednesday to be, it becomes easier. They don't have to know what the hell heck a refinement requirement is. They don't have to know about sprint terms. They just need to know, hey, on Wednesday, the team is getting together to talk requirements, whether it be prioritization or refinement. That way it's simple for the business people to know what key day it is to crash the team, right? It's always on a Wednesday. And it also prepares the team to know, don't over plan doing a lot of creative work make her work on a Wednesday because Wednesday is when we're probably going to interface with other people on the team, probably going to interface with stakeholders, probably going to do our planning, um, look at all our tasks, do all that work as a group. And that frees up the rest of the week to say, let's reserve the rest of the week for maker time. Right. And there's other things I did a show on it before a long time ago on how to reserve that. And I probably should link to it, but I'll figure some way to do it. Maybe I'll bring it up in another session. But this way, it saves that time for them to make stuff. So I wanted to share that with you. Just something I saw. Get everyone on a cadence. Make it as simple as possible. What is this scrum stuff? They don't need. They don't necessarily need to know. And and the sooner you can get the simplest notion in the business side or people outside the scrum team to understand what you're doing that better it's going to be for yourself you're actually on the offensive you're not always on the defensive and you, it 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 sets them up if you say it a lot hey wednesday is the the requirement sessions when you meet when you interact with the team it's always on a wednesday it's either in the afternoon the morning or something and you can do it maybe it's the morning maybe maybe you do refinement session in the morning just like you maybe do and do sprint planning in the morning right so that Everybody knows Wednesday mornings is when we interface with the IT team or the design team or the sales team or whatever your scrum team is, right? So with that, I wanted to share that with you today. And again, I want to thank you all for five years of, I think we had like 14 million plus views, 12,000 subscribers and, uh, I don't know. It says 2000 shows. I know on our podcast, we just reached 30,000 uh, podcast downloads. I would love to see that double and triple one day. <laughs> Who knows? It's all out there. So you can listen to your heart's desire. And again, we're starting the new process where we're interviewing people. I'm working on an interview today. I should post it up. Um, it's going to take a little more extra effort because I just had so much problems with uh, 
Zoom the other day with resource allocation. It's like decided, even though I cleaned half the drive, it still wanted to give me re resource issues. Um, but I got to work on that today. Hopefully get that released. And Thursdays, we're doing that. We're also doing our meetup group. If you want to pitch something or share something with the meetup group or get some practice for a bigger session, feel free to knock on the door and say, hey, Greg, I'd like to do something with your meetup group or share with your your YouTube channel. Or actually, it's not just YouTube because we're on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, or X, depending on how you want to do it. So we're on a bunch of different services and all podcast systems out there. So it's not just like one thing. It's everywhere. It's just I like about YouTube is like it's the library of every show ever done. Anyway, with that, I want to wish you the best. Happy scrumming. Have a great day. Have a great afternoon. And we'll see you soon. Take care. And I and, and five days, five days is going to be the fifth anniversary of the 5 a.m. Mr. Scrum Show. Hope you can celebrate with it. I'll put out some stuff. I got to figure something to do to celebrate that. And thanks everyone for their well wishes on my anniversary here. And let's hope we make it another five years. That'd be great. Make it another 10, 20, 30, 40. Let's go for 40. 40 more years of the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I think that would be a good number. <laughs> All right. Take care, everyone. Have a great day.